All right, hello everybody, it's Dr. Conroy here once again, and this time I'm going to showcase the Day Out with Thomas event that I attended at the Watercrest line just recently during a holiday, and joining me today is from Ask Elsa of my Instagram page, Mr. Blue. In this video, I'll be showing off videos and photos that I took, as well as talking you through how the day went, so without any further ado, let's begin. From the 8th to the 15th of August just recently, we went on holiday to Hampshire, and as things that have it, one of the things to do was the Watercrest Line at the Mid Hats Railway, and the Day Out with Thomas event was going on. We had little ones with us, so we were mostly doing it for them, but for me as a long live Thomas fan, this was a massive sense of nostalgia, as I had not been on a Day Out with Thomas event in years. So it was quite nice for the both of us, both for me and the little ones, and for the first time in years attending a Day Out with Thomas event, I have to say, this one really was quite nice. We saw Thomas, Percy, Diesel, Toad, and a sort of Trevor in terms of character. Because you see, there was a traction engine, but it didn't actually have a face, despite the fact it had a nameplate saying Trevor next to it. But as things would have it, they were the only characters that they had. Sadly, there weren't any more. It was also very hot that day, so... Sadly, Thomas couldn't go very far, it was only so far up, and so far down. But it was all for good reasoning. It was to prevent the risk of line-side fires. Risk of line-side fires aside, nothing stopped Percy from being active during a live show, which featured two characters called Rusty and Dusty. And the show that I saw, they kept telling Percy to move Toad somewhere, whether it was further up or further down up to the point where they ended up confusing him, so Percy just left Toad for a moment and basically buggered off. But the Fat Controller was on hand to help him put the situation right. The show was very well acted out, they looked like they were having fun doing it, and they even sung a fun little song adapting the wheels on the bus, but this time it was for wheels on Thomas. Even Percy got to join in, as you'll see. <laughs> That's a pretty good way to adapt wheels on the bus, actually. Percy's <laughs> joining in, that's nice. And naturally, the actor for the Fat Controller would have been keeping cool, but still giving so much credit for wearing that costume on what was otherwise a boiling hot day. And speaking of him, we got to meet him, Rusty and Dusty, um, after the show. They were very nice, and I got to talk to them for a while, and I even asked him if he wouldn't mind posing with Mr. Blue for a photo for the Instagram page, and he did so. They were all quite fond of him, and... This particular picture right here, this is one of my favourite ones, uh, because not only do I actually carry Mr. Blue like that in real life sometimes, but this was actually his idea. I didn't suggest this, he just stuck him in his pocket and I said, hey, that's great, let's, I'll get a photo of that. And I did get quite photo happy, as you'll not only see on my Instagram, but here as well, because naturally the engine's very photo friendly. And I have to give credit to the engines that it got to be Thomas and Percy. Like, they may not be exactly dead on us. There are no E2s left, and Percy seems to be a bit of a hodgepodge in terms of basis, but they both looked alright. I mean, the Thomas was small enough. He had six wheels, of course, and the splashes and whatever else. And Percy had four wheels, of course, and it was a saddle tank. But, of course, the best-looking one had to be Diesel, because, well... There's plenty of Diesel's bases left out there. And the same goes for Toad. It just actually got his bases, stuck a face on, and it worked. Everywhere was nicely decorated too, what with signs advertising the events, and seeing pictures of the characters, and... Sadly, there were some All Engines Co pictures, but... Hey-ho, I don't suppose a whole lot can be done about that. Sadly. And the day I went, there was even some filming going on for promotions for the day out with Thomas on behalf of Mattel. Given Mattel's reputation with Thomas on the other hand though, no, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll leave that entirely down to you guys. But enough about them, on to our man of the hour. As I say, the ride with Thomas wasn't very long, but it was a pleasant one nonetheless, and 
it's always just nice to ride behind our number one engine. And once again, the sense of nostalgia that I felt. Oh, it was wonderful. And I think growing up, I think this is one of my favourite things about Thomas now. The connection with childhood. The way things used to be. And when little ones of your own come into your life. Like in this case, um, the little ones who we ha had with us was my niece and nephew. It can help um, bond with them in a way. And that's what I really love about Thomas much these days. Other than the fact that the series is just pure nostalgia. And I've just never really cared how old I am. And nobody ever should if you ask me. There were also some nice diesels that we got to ride behind and have a longer ride because um, diesels won't really cause line side fires and we rode behind a particularly nice one which uh, I'll put on the screen now. And much like most train rides there was some nice scenery to offer as well. And of course there was stalls offering various uh, pieces of Thomas merchandise for the young ones. Although it's a day mostly for them, it would be nice if we'd have things for adults as well, say like um, models or whatnot, because the Batman Thomas range has become somewhat available in the UK, because we have characters like Gordon, James, Toby, Percy and Thomas of course, who, um, who are actually have in my possession, and they are the UK versions. I don't know whether more characters will become available, but even outside of Thomas, and um, one would think that perhaps what of being a train station and a heritage railway they would sell models for the older enthusiasts. Because I know that Seven Valley at least does, but well, not every place is Seven Valley I suppose, but it's just a lot of something to consider and it would be nice, but I digress. As well as the main ride, there's even a mini railway you can ride on and that in itself was quite nice because we had some nice views. We had some views of the lines, we could see uh, the engines as we were going by and the mini railways are just as fun to ride on as the standard gauge railways I find and they did have some pretty nice looking um, little engines pulling the carriages that we sat on and on the whole it was just a fun little ride. And throughout the day, much like the actors playing Rusty, Dusty and the Fat Controller, most definitely we certainly had to keep cool, so we certainly had some ice creams and drank plenty throughout the day to keep us refreshed. All in all, the day out with Thomas events at the mid Hans Railway up the Watercrest line, it was certainly worth going to and definitely worth it for the nostalgia of things and, and seeing the smiles on my nephew and niece's faces. There's plenty for the kids to do, there's plenty for the adults to enjoy as well. And they really have got some good looking engines to be Thomas Percy, Diesel and a really good brake van to be towed. If there's one thing I must say though is they did lose quite a bit of a golden opportunity because Thomas was coupled to two coaches. They were green um, southern style coaches which do look fine as I do have some in model form but if anyone wants my opinion they really should have painted them brown and made them Annie and Clarabelle. But apart from that, no real um, nitpicks or gripes or anything because the service was good and the staff were friendly and if you have little ones and you happen to live near the mid Hans Railway or happen to be local enough so you can take them out for the day or if you're near it on a holiday, I would 100% recommend it. I enjoyed myself, the rest of my family did and Mr Blue certainly enjoyed himself. So that's that from me for now. I hope you enjoyed this look at our day out with Thomas on the Watercrest line. I've really enjoyed talking you through it, and until the next time, this is Dr Conroy signing out, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers everyone, and it's bye bye from me, and it's bye bye from Mr Blue.